thank you very much for spending our Thursday afternoon with us. I really hope that by the end you feel like, oh, this was amazing. It was really worth my time. Uh, again, I'm Gus. I'm from the AI DevRel team. My main goal is to make Google's AI tooling as easy as possible for you, for the community, right? And today, uh, you've seen a lot of sort about the vision behind Gemma, how cool is it, the responsible AI toolkit, why it's an open model, and but it's the uh, Gemma Developer Day, right? So I imagine you are all thinking, okay, let's. When is the Developer Day? And it's now, exactly now. So we are going to see a lot of demos. Uh, my colleagues there will show you a lot of live demos. So let's all pray that everything goes well, and we will show you a lot of the cool capabilities we can do. And but before we get there, I would like to teach you how to start this journey, right? I imagine some of you have started already. Thank you very much for that. And if you didn't, welcome. This is exactly where you should start. I'll give you all the tips for that. But before we start that, we when we when I start working on this project for uh, some time ago, uh, one of the goals that we had were we had like three goals. How many goals? But the three important ones for you are: we wanted to make models that were very, very, very good. I guess we did that, right? You saw the numbers, they're very good. The other thing, we wanted to make those models safe and follow and following all the responsible AI perspective. We did that too. But the one thing that I was a little bit annoying to my friends every day, all the time is, I want these models to be as easy as possible to use and to be everywhere. I want them to be in every platform for everyone to use, for everyone to benefit from it. And that's what we did. So we launched them uh, in all our platforms, our tooling of frameworks, AI related, of course, in our cloud. We collaborate with our friends, Hugging Face from NVIDIA to make them even more available, even faster. And this was very good. Uh, we were very happy with the beginning of that. And we gave to the community everything that we taught. And that was very good. And two days after that, we saw that the community got the models and added another 20 other frameworks and platforms. Many of those that I wasn't, I didn't know they were so popular, but the community just ran with it. They just got it, start putting other platforms, sending PR requests to other GitHub repositories, uh, more than 300,000 downloads, more than 300 spaces on Hugging Face. So it became very popular. And I think a, a, maybe a part of it is because we try to make this easy for you, right? The idea is it has to be easy for the developer. I know I received questions from people, hey, guys, I really want to start this machine learning journey. And then it's like, yes, I understand your pain. And I imagine you all had the same question, right? And where should I start? That's the follow-up question, which is very hard. And we wanted to make this journey easy. That's why we did this. Uh, and to start with Gemma, you will go to the ai.google.dev slash Gemma, where is the first page where you can see all the benchmarks, all the information, the main documentation is there. And that's where you should start your journey. But uh, Gemma has a, a specific license, right? As Anne mentioned before, it's not an open source license. It's an open license. It's commercially friend license. And you have to go accept this. And the main place to do that is on Gemma's page on Kaggle modules. You can go there and you can accept the license. You, know, you can use your Kaggle user. You can use a, a, your Hugging Face user, your Gmail, your another email account, any of those. And then you get access to that. So when you see that screen, you are able to start playing with the model. And as a developer, I imagine that's what you want to try. And before we go into trying the model and doing any code whatsoever, uh, there's another cool thing you can do still on Kaggle models, which is we have an inference widget where you can play with the model right there on the web page, right? Of course, this is not running on the web page. We will hear about this a little bit later today. This is a widget that was created by our colleagues on Google Cloud, and you can play with the model, try some prompts, see the results there. This is a good start for you to say, so let me see what this model can do before uh, going to any code related uh, environment. But then you say, okay, guys, this is the developer day. You told us a couple of minutes ago. Yeah, 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 got it, got it. So let's start with the basic one, right? We have the Keras implementation. If you uh, read here the, 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 uh, the box to the left, 
there's basically two lines of code there. There's some imports, some styles, things that you set up, but it's two lines of code. You load the model and you call the generate method. And that's it. With that, you can start playing with the model with code right there. Two lines of code. So it's very straightforward. Of course, uh, if you're not a Keras developer, you're, I don't know, a PyTorch developer or a JAX developer, we also have the same uh, way of doing that, of course, for specific for PyTorch, specific for uh, for Jax. But the idea is you get this quite fast. And when you are ready to continue your journey, you have the you got the license. So now what's next? Great question. You go to our documentation. We have a lot of tutorials. We added two new tutorials. Between, if you saw the documentation yesterday night, now it's even uh, better. We have more tutorials that was were added this morning. And you can continue your journey. So you can do uh, play with inference. You can do uh, uh, fine tuning. You can do fine tuning multiple hardware. You can play with other uh, uh, configurations. You can understand how the in, in, uh, the details about the model, how to do other advanced uh, solutions. All of that in our documentation. Now I give you the first steps, and you can start playing with that. You can start building your own applications. You can start having fun. But one question that I got from the developers, from you people, from the community is, okay, Gus, can you point me to a project that I can start playing with? How do I start? I, I play with the tutorials. I understand how it works. Now what? Uh, don't worry, we got you covered. We have two Kaggle competitions running right now based on the Gemma modules, right? We have the uh, AI assistant competition and we have the uh, prompt LLM prompt recovery. Both of them are competitions based on the Gemma modules. And the idea is uh, you try to solve a problem using the Gemma modules on, and you compete against other teams. You can create a team, you can compete by yourself. But why this is so cool? The idea is when, as you've seen, when we start to learn machine learning, there's a lot to learn. So it's very hard to do it by yourself. When you start to do to use Kaggle, you have a community of people, a community of people trying to do very similar things as you. They're all competing there. They're trying their best to solve a problem. They will share in the forum, they will share code, they will share their ideas, and you can learn from them. So maybe you're not an expert now, but you can learn from the experts, right? They are not going to give you the secret sauce at first, but they will give you a good start. So there's a lot of great code there that you can go and start learning with it. So this community is amazing. I highly suggest you start playing with it, right? And oh, there's also a prize, but the idea is learning. I'm pretty sure that learning is more important than the prize, right? And of course, if you are a researcher, we also got you covered. We have a program to give you credits, cloud credits, so you can do your researches in Google Cloud and Gemma. Because we don't want, it's a model is not, we say developers, but um, I, maybe I should have defined this earlier. When I mean developers, I mean developers, researchers, builders. I want everyone that wants to do something, create something. And researchers are a very important part for us. I want, we would like to help you build new models, new capabilities. I've seen, like, the last week I saw people building stuff and I was like, is, is that possible? And I've been playing with this model for a while, but people are still, I'm, I still get surprised by some things that people do. So it's amazing. We have this you can, on our uh, main page. Uh, you can see this, the link to get uh, more information. If you are from a researcher, we can give you more information during the break. Thank you.